So the present day landscape of Let's Plays has changed pretty drastically in the last five years. Um, something that was kind of like a hobby that started on something awful is now a big industry where some creators are making money hand over fist playing video games, as some people say. And the types of creators have actually grown a little bit more diverse too. Uh, Let's Playing, which was sort of like a culture of sharing and nostalgia and educating viewers on games or how to play them, has kind of grown more into sort of like an entertainment or something like that like more entertainment than something a little bit more personal um and there are a lot of new channels that that kind of focus on that so my question is now that i'm getting to it how do you feel about these new channels well this is going to answer a later question that i i could see that you have right here but um all right uh at first i did think that it was kind of lame that this was kind of going on because you know, people that didn't care about what we did, didn't care about this at all, heck, maybe even spoke out against it saying it was dumb in the past. You know, now they suddenly cared about it because they could make money at it. And I, you know, there was a time where I'll admit I felt bitter about that. But present day, I can't say I feel that way at all. And I can definitely say that I apologize for ever coming off that way in the past because it was kind of immature of me. Just kind of one of those mistakes that I've made, I I'd say. If somebody wanted to make a living making videos but they just hadn't found how they could do it but then amnesia comes along and it's like you know a really big trend and you know maybe they're not really all that big into video games but they make a video of themselves playing it just for the heck of it and it's very successful and they decide you know what this is what i'm gonna do who am i to say you can't do that because that's not what i do i don't think that makes any sense at all so you know, just because somebody, some other gaming channel might make something that I don't personally do or might make something that isn't how things have always been done. I can't say that there's anything wrong with that because who am I to say that like, oh, well, you shouldn't be able to, you know, make it making videos like you want to just because you moved in on what I do. I don't feel that way at all. The worst that I can say about anything like that is that there's types of content that I certainly don't find enjoyable. And that's really the worst that I can say of it. But if you're making it doing that way, I can't tell you that you're wrong for doing it. Talking about these types of channels, do you think that there is more of an emphasis these days on just entertaining or more on shock value um, and less about, I guess, what Let's Plays used to be? I think it's more entertainment than shock value because I do think the whole shock value thing on YouTube has kind of died down for a bit. Um, there's been like, you know, channels like trying to outdo each other and that sort of thing. And it, you know, kind of blowing up in some people's faces. I, I, I don't think that the whole shock value thing is big. You don't really see like scare cam horror things quite as much as you used to. I don't think around the time I had written these questions, actually. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Uh, it, um, I, I think that it is more about entertainment, though, but again, I don't think that's inherently a bad thing, and I don't think I'm anyone to tell, you know, I, I don't think I have any sort of authority whatsoever to tell people what the reasons why they can and can't make something, because if it's doing well, and they're making it and what they're doing, I can't say that their success, you know, isn't legitimate or is any less legitimate than anyone else's. And do you think maybe viewers sort of prefer um, these sort of reactionary videos or... Um, I kind of wrote it down as preferring failure and reactions that new creators or newer channels have made, especially since um, you do have people that play Amnesia or Minecraft, but they focus more so on just sort of like slapstick or screaming or not doing well in the games versus like these 100% walkthroughs or playing or speedrunning the game, stuff like that. Do you think viewers prefer that? Uh, it's it's a different audience, I think. Like, I think that different people make, making different things, again, is good for variety's sake. Um, and there's also the fact that, you know, I can't really say that I don't get loud in my videos because I do it as well. It's just for different <laughs> reasons, really. Heck, maybe not even that different of a reason. And I, I guess also kind of going further into, you know, I who am I to say that somebody can't have legitimate success in what they do just because it's different from what I do. There's also the fact that, you know, maybe they really do enjoy Minecraft. And even though that is the popular game of the now that, you know, all the kids are playing, you know, maybe they really do get enjoyment out of it. And I can't say that, 
you know, oh, you're just doing that because you're popular, though, because that's not always going to strictly be the case. But I do see a lot of people that will see Let's Plays of that and be like, oh, well, you know, you're doing this for the money and you've sold out and all that. But no, I, I don't think you can really tell somebody what they can and can't like. Okay. Um, so after seeing the success and the ease of starting an LP channel, um, mostly just about buying equipment or where to find stuff to buy equipment from, the amount of LP channels in general seems to have gotten a lot larger, and I'll, <laughs> I'll admit that I was part of that kind of booming time. Um, so along that note, do you feel like the community has changed a lot since you started doing LPs? I feel like... I feel like there's a lot more, I guess, subsections in what's going on, where there's a lot more people grouping together than there was before. Um, I don't have any strong opinions about this really being the case. It's just kind of the way things have become. I, I will say that the sense of community that was there a few years ago, it might have just kind of gotten too big for it to all be one big community, but it's just kind of what happens with anything that gets very big and very popular. Um, so would you consider it more or less difficult to be considered part of it? I guess it's a little bit more ambiguous than the question lets on. It, it is, because it really depends what you're talking about or like where it is your interests uh, or interests. What it is you're doing really depends on that. Again, it's it's a very subjective thing. I don't think there's any right or wrong answer, but I can say that... I guess getting noticed on YouTube is harder than it ever has been because there's far more people that are doing that if that's what you're meaning um yeah but it's also more so and this the the other question that i'm about to ask um kind of goes into this but just feeling not necessarily just getting your videos noticed but being a part of the community like um just simple things like meeting up with other let's players at conventions and um just kind of being in the moment in the community like not just simply, here's my channel, I hope it gets noticed. Okay, but, okay. I, yeah, I understand what you thing. mean. I think that, honestly, the in-person side of things has gotten better with time, because um, gamers on YouTube appearing at conventions and being guests and that sort of thing and being able to do that sort of thing, that was not common uh, five, six years ago. But it's become a lot more common with time, and you'll get people that'll say straight up like, you know, Hey, when are you coming to this area of the world? Or like, you know, Hey, can you come to this town or can you come to this state or this country or anything like that? I feel like that's gotten a lot better and it does make people more human. I think that is an aspect of the community that has gotten better with time. And it's an aspect of it that I certainly enjoy that I think is a lot of fun that I think is very different from everything else that was around before it. And it's something that I, quite honestly, I really like. And I think that the way that things have gone has allowed for that to happen. And that's a very good thing. 